wear her for whatever you want. You do you. I'm just saying she is gorgeous. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> channel everybody hope you're all having a really good day I know that I am because I'm here filming a video for you that always makes my day so if you happen to be new I hope that you'll join the party and stick around for a while of course all you have to do is subscribe there is a button down below to click to do that and if you have already subscribed thank you so very much I greatly do appreciate it and I truly do mean that so here on my channel I mostly bring you wig reviews and I like to bring you the oldies but goodies as well as the new drops. Today though I have another new drop to bring and I will be telling you all you need to know about her, all of the important deets. So please kind of give me your respectful feedback in the comments since I do love to hear your thoughts and I also do take requests. So if there's a wig you would like me to review just throw it at me. Hopefully I can pick it up and review it for you. Today though who I've got is a wig from Outre. Here she is. She is in the style of Begonia and she is an HD lace front from the Melted Hairline collection. And the color I have her in is DRFF Amber Sunset and they do actually show a picture of that color right here. And she actually comes available in a total of 10 colors if I counted correctly. So of course I list them here on the stock card. I always like to see a good color selection. And some of these, if I'm not mistaken, are new colors as well. So kudos for that. Um, but some of her other features include a two by five deluxe wide part. She is also pre-plucked and has natural baby hairs. She of course is also heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I picked her up from wig types for $49.94. So this is Begonia right out of the box and as you can see she has these little doohickeys in there which of course I'll take out here in a moment. But for now I'm going to show you her lace and cap construction. So first off, I see those baby hairs, and with the lace, that looks very, very good. You want to make sure that it's transparent, so that way it is easier for blending. And on the inside, here is the attached elastic band. She has this deluxe wide curved parting space there. She has one comb over here, as well as one comb over here. And she does also have a one comb in the back, plus in the back are also her little adjustable straps. She has this really nice comfortable lining that covers up wefts. And usually these wigs do stretch pretty good. Uh, the cap itself looks to be about medium size if I'm guessing correctly, but as far as stretchability goes, it's very, very good. So that's a good indication to me if I think the wig is larger head friendly. But I won't know for sure until I have her on. So give me one quick second to go put her on and then I'll be right back. All right, everybody, we are back. Gonna talk all about Begonia here. So first, uh, let's talk about this eyeshadow look. So what I used to create it today is this palette, which is the Brown and Nudes palette by Yolando, which is from Makeup by Yolando. So uh, let me open this up so you can see what this is all about. Here are the shades. Alrighty then, so let's talk about her, shall we? 
She is gorgeous. This is a perfect date night, special occasion hair. Or in my case, I'm just going to a meeting tonight, so she's meeting hair in that essence. But personally, you can wear her for whatever you want. You do you. I'm just saying she is gorgeous. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> but as I mentioned before, that uh, some of these colors are new, and including this one, because I have never seen it before. It is really stunning, but I will point out out that it is darker in real life than what it looks like in the photo which I'll show you once again so you can see how much lighter that looks as compared to this um, so just something that you need to be aware of that the lighting on these stock photos can be a little deceiving when it comes to how the color really is portrayed in natural light so just be aware of that but anyway um, it's still a very beautiful color it kind of almost looks like a 2 and 27 mix but let me scooch in here and show you there's actually some copper in here too so maybe a little 530 mixed in there too and this is something I obviously can uh, notice really well here, but did not notice at all in this picture. Not at all. So uh, just something to be aware of, but I do actually like it. I think it gives it a little bit more definition with the color. It looks more professional. It's a little extra zing, if you will, too. So I think it's really beautiful. And then, like I said, this pretty much looks like a number two, in my opinion, and that is all the way throughout. So it is a beautiful color. Luster isn't bad either. To me, that looks like a healthy human hair shine. Um, her texture is light yakky. There is, you know, a little bit of silkiness in there. I like to describe how I feel, how it really feels, and that is how it really feels. My dog just sneezed. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, so it feels nice and soft. The hair feels realistic. And I do also uh, believe that this is multicultural, so she should work out for everybody. And her length, uh, did they put that on here? No, they didn't. I just realized that now. They've been in the habit of telling us how long the wigs are on the stock cards, but they didn't with her. So guessing I would say probably 22 inches about that because I'm 5'5 five five and she's right at where my boobs start. So I think this is a very good length for this style. Of course, she has a little bit of layering as you can see. What I really love is this gigantic barrel curl right here. I think that is stunning. But another thing I will point out is even though she has these little whatchamacallits in there to kind of keep this shape, I've noticed that this side doesn't really want to stay as well as this side does, as you can pretty much see. I did try using a round brush to kind of get that to stay, but it didn't really work out in my favor as much as I wanted it to. So that's just something I wanted to bring up so that way you are aware in case it has any bearing on your decision making with this wig. I don't want to leave anything out, so that's why I tell you. But overall, again, I think it's beautiful and it's not too far off. You can still tell it's the same wig, so I'm not too concerned about it. But let's go ahead and take a look at her from the side and the back. All right, so with her density, I'm not mad at it. So let me just show you here. I think it's very appropriate for this style. It does look pretty natural to me. So of course I'm all about having it look natural. So I do like that. Um, her ends here too, I will point out, um, you sometimes have to finesse them with the little round brush once again to get them to kind of stay curled under like it shows in the stock photo. But that's a minor thing. Again, I just don't want to leave anything out. Uh, as far as shedding and tangling, let me just show you how easy it is to run my fingers through her. I mean, check that out. So easy. They just like glide right through. But of course, with this style, you have to be a little careful, especially with these curls right here, because if you comb through them too much or if you use a brush, whatever it is that you decide to use, that can disrupt this pattern a little bit and then make it harder for you to style back. So in that essence, I would say she's slightly high maintenance, I guess, but at least she doesn't tangle much. So that kind of makes up for it. So thankfully she just kind of stays in place as long as you don't futz with her 
too much. So I wouldn't recommend wearing her on a windy day. I mean, granted, I wouldn't really recommend any beautiful style or fancy style, I should say, when you are going out on a windy day. But just emphasizing it, that's all. All right, so shedding isn't really all that bad either. I haven't noticed anything excessive with that. In fact, it's very, very minimal. Um, I do think she has pretty good body too. I mean, usually I try to do a little bounce test, but again, I don't want to mess this up. And there's not really many waves to really worry about that. But she does have really decent volume and body, so I think that's all tied together appropriately. And um, again, Melted Hairline Collection. So let's take a look at this pre-plication that she's got going on here. First of all, she's a right-sided part that is slightly curved. I think that is a really good parting space as far as the depth and width is concerned, and it is pre-plucked. She lays super duper flat. This was like a piece of cake to blend. It only took me a second to do. Uh, I think this looks extremely natural along the hairline here. And then she's got these baby hairs, which I think if you do want to lay them down, they should be easy to work with. Me on the other hand, I just like it like this. And I, again, feel that this looks extremely natural, like a hairline should look. So I'm very pleased with this. And I do see some pre-plucking here. I mean, you can kind of really point that out there. I think that looks really, really good. And then her edges here, I didn't glue her down over here, but check that out. I mean, that is really, really good. At least I think so. So I'm really pleased with this. And then you also have the baby hairs kind of going around the edges too to help with that. So it was very easy to blend. In fact, I didn't put any powder along the edges. I didn't feel I needed to. I only put some right here in the parting space. And usually with the melted hairline wigs, I do have to melt them down if I want them to really stay. I mean, granted, that's kind of a no-brainer with any wig, right? But usually with the melted hairline collections, people expect to have to glue them down. But with her, I don't think it's really as necessary, um, especially as you just saw there. And over here, I mean, you're going to have a little bit more lift up, but this is also a style that you really wouldn't be lifting up over here, really. But again, just look at those edges. That looks really, really good. So most people would never expect this to be a wig. So that is what you want. You want it to look natural and make your have your money's worth, right? So she is definitely worth the money in my opinion. So even though she's got a couple little minor cons as far as the styling is concerned and maybe not matching the color 100% is what you see in the stock card, but those again, are very, very minor. They're not a make or break moment in my opinion. So I still love this wig. I think that a lot of people are going to love her too if you get her. So I am going to go ahead and give her the thumbs up and recommend her. Highly recommend you pick her up yourselves. So that is my review and recommendation for Begonia. Don't forget though to tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to tell me too if you already picked her up. And make sure you tell me if you decide to go get her after watching this review. I would love to know that. But other than that, that is all I have for her. Thank you so very much for watching though. I appreciate that, and I'll catch you next time in my next video. So until next time, bye-bye.